Hi, I'm just um, starting a new document. Um, we're going to practice today with using the pen tool. So um, I'm just going to set up an artboard at 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters. So to get this box, you need to go to create new when you open up your illustrator or control on your keyboard with the letter N. Okay. Um, so the pen tool is located um, on your left hand panel. Um, if you hold this icon down, you'll see it's like a little fountain pen. Um, the letter P will bring you to the shortcut. Um, as you can see, there's other options there that we will go through too. Um, so the pen tool, um, once it's activated, you'll see you've got a kind of a fountain pen um, on your screen. Um, and at the moment, you can see that my fill color is white and my stroke color is black. So that might be suitable for what we're doing, but usually I would turn off my fill color while I'm using my pen, okay? And just use my stroke color. So it would mean that if you join up the points, there'll be no fill in the middle. So you can use the pen tool by just clicking, click, 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 click and join them up like so. So that's one way of using the pen tool, okay? Um, and usually I would say go back to your black arrow to kind of, um, you know, um, turn off the, the command or lose the command. You can also begin to work with curves. So for example, if I wanted to make um, a kind of a rounded curve, um, going down the page here. Usually I start with a click rather than a click and a drag. So just start with one click. Okay. And then you could go click and drag with your mouse. Click and drag with your mouse. Click and drag. Okay. Okay. And then when I want to stop, I just click. And then I usually go back to my black arrow to kind of stop the action. Okay, so I'll just repeat repeat that again. So I usually start with a click, then click and drag in the direction I want to go in. Okay, so if I just want kind of a, a, a not so rounded curve, I'll keep it short. I'll drag it out further if I want a nice rounded curve. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click. Okay, and again, just to make kind of more straight lines and curves, or with no curves, click, 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 okay. Um, by all means, then you can actually edit these points also. So you can get your, uh, your white arrow, and you can obviously move these points around, like so like you've learned in uh, previous tutorials. Okay, and you can do the same here. So when you find, when you hover over and you see the anchor point, um, it's a good idea probably to turn on your smart guides. So if you go to view at the top of your screen, you'll see smart guides. And it's a good idea to uh, turn that on. Um, I, I just turned mine off there. If it's on, there'll be a tick beside it. Okay, so what that means when you hover over it, it'll make it easier to see your anchor point. So you can click. Now you'll notice that the curves have these handles. That's what these are called, handles. So it'll allow you to kind of bring the curve inwards or outwards or move it around like so. So you've got your handles and you've got your anchor points. You've both of those options to um, edit your curve. Okay, um, whereas in with the pointed ones, you won't see your handles, but we do have the opportunity to introduce the handles. Um, if we go back to our pen tool and hold it down and we go to the anchor point tool. So with the anchor point tool, we can drag outwards once we click on our point. So we click on our anchor and you'll know that it's activated when you've got this kind of a V shape and you can kind of round it out like so, okay. You can even go somewhere like that if you wish. And if you want to reverse that, you can bring your handles backwards.
like so. Okay. Um, you also have the opportunity to add or delete an anchor point. Um, so for example, if I wanted to delete an anchor point, I could, for example, delete this anchor point. And if I delete it, I lose this point. So the line will go from here to here. I could do it again here. Okay. And then I also have the opportunity to add an anchor point tool. So I'm holding my finger on the pen tool till I feel these commands. And then I can add an anchor point, which means if I get my white arrow, then I can edit that. Okay. I hope this was useful. Thank you.